my 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 father suffered hi guys this is actually the first time i'm coming out to make this kind of video public before you all come for me right i'm not here for publicity i'm not here for the fame of this video or anything i'm simply here for my dad my name is oluchi precious and i am the daughter of late mr vitus chima Nibwe, who is mostly known in the nollywood industry as gold pictures i have a lot of imputes regarding the Mrs. Mercy Johnson Okoje and her acclaimed best friend Saga. I think her name is Ma. Yeah. From what I saw, I think that's what she was calling herself. So, um, in the video she posted on YouTube, she said something about Mrs. Mercy Okoje being a, a witch. Yeah, and uh, also that uh, she has, maybe she has a hand in the deaths of this Nollywood actors, marketers, and the rest. Well, well, in one of her videos, she, she mentioned that my dad was being tied in a bottle. by in their spiritual realm it was being he was being tied in a bottle and that um, he couldn't breathe spiritually so in another video she mentioned that by to snapway gold pictures messi used this man messi messi turned the man to mumu and I and I'm j I heard this late that Ben Benedict Johnson told her he's late. Okay. I really don't know where to start from regarding this whole issues that is arising. And I wouldn't have made this video if Gold Pictures was never mentioned. Um I mean, this is what happens here in our country, Nigeria, okay? This is what we call medicine after death. I'm not trying to be biased. I'm not trying to shade anyone here, no. But instead, I just want to throw more light about my deceased dad. Uh, we lost him 2021, November 5th. And... Uh, before he died, it was not an ordinary death that I must attest publicly. His death was not ordinary at all. So I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to connect the dot from what Mrs. Sifoma stated on her last video and what happened physically. Now, she made mention that um, he could not breathe. When he before he died, he was not breathing. Hmm? Before he died in the presence of his three little children, his three little kids, he didn't breathe. He was not breathing. He was gasping for air. He called me. I was in school when this man called and told me to pray for him that he cannot breathe. That I should please pray for me. He doesn't want to die. It was even a market that they called his name that they said he died. I can't remember. What's the name of that? Gold pictures. Gold pictures. If Messi deny this one, I will stone her to death. I swear. If you go, if you want to pretend and deny some, you should deny gold pictures. We stone her to death. I will go to God. I will never go to Messi. What are you telling me? That he cannot breathe. That I should please pray for me. He doesn't want to die. He called me. My mom was at the prayer mountain praying. I was in school reading. How person wants a pastor? Huh? I did poorly that year in school. So, Mr. Sipama, you knew about all these things. And you, you kept it to yourself all along. 
I mean, from your from your video, it shows. In fact, it's very obvious that you will know the man very well. You know, you were wailing and crying and all. So it's obvious that you probably might know this man. So what stopped you from reaching out to his family? Or reaching out to him? Okay, this is this is how it is. Now, mind you, before you come at me, my dad mentioned one certain time that uh, he met with a medicine man. You know, and this man told him that it's an actress that is actually doing him this thing that is happening to him. So... And he was thinking, he kept racking his head. Who is this person that I have offended? You know what he did next? He uh, held a meeting or he, he actually had a meeting with one particular actress. Not Mrs. Johnson, Mrs. Mercy Johnson or Goodell. Another person entirely whom he thought was the person behind his whole problems. He offered to give this person an amount, a certain amount of money like that. And she refused. She said, no, that she would never accept such a thing. That she would never do such a thing to good. Yes, that's what they call him, good. Or guy good, good. She said she would not accept that. That she's not the one behind anything. That she won't do it, no matter what. That whatever differences they have has not gotten to the extent where she would be taking his name somewhere else to punish him so this is my mentioning this thing you people are throwing shade commenting is it she's this she's that she's jealous jealous of what tell what is there to be jealous of like she said they were childhood friend you you had the spiritual coexistence between them about her mother swapping clothes between she and Mercy, Mrs. Mercy. So, uh, before we before we start doing all these things, let us think. We Nigerians, we are very quick to judge somebody and push someone to suicide. Then when the person dies, we don't pay attention. No. When the person dies, it becomes something else. That's what Mr. Kumo, she said it too. She did this, she did that. I'm not, I'm not taking sides. No, but I'm trying to sh throw more lights. That in whatever she might be stating, there might be an atom of truth. That's why I'm that's why I'm telling you a little story about my dad's demise. So um my dad had no idea that Messi might be behind uh, his predicaments because of the kind of good relationship they had. Um I am proud to say this that my father got pictures made Mrs. Mercy Johnson Okoje a star, whoever she is right now. Gold Pictures Production, she should be able to attest to this statement that I'm making for a fact. Unless maybe, you know, nobody, it's, it's normal. Nobody wants to attach their growth to someone else except God. Gold Pictures and God made you who you are today. That is the truth, Delmas. You even said it in one of your interviews on um, a particular newspaper. I can't really state. I read it. I read it. So I'm still trying to understand if if what Mrs. Ifoma is stating is true. What led to that? Because both of you obviously had a great friendship. Unless there, there was something behind that we, we don't know of. And my father never mentioned. So what could be the issue? You see, one of her videos, the first video she made was a live video with um, Angela. That was the first time Angela mentioned something that um, there was also a marketer that she she did something to. And then Mrs. Informa stated that, uh, yeah, it was good pictures that if Mrs. Johnson should deny that she was going to stone her to death and wow like that statement you know there are some statements people make eh that even if every other things you've been saying are not true because of that particular statement you begin to rethink 
what gives you that assurance for you to say if Mrs. Mercy should deny such statements that you were going to stone her to death? I think um, the second video happened to be the last video that I will ever search for. Because the more you keep digging, the more you keep seeing things that you don't want to see. The more you keep hearing things that you don't want to hear or you don't even want to know. I have decided not to look for them. I have decided not to check more videos from her post because, you know, you are trying to give somebody benefit of doubt. And the more you keep searching, eh, the more... You just start losing that trust you had for that person. My 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 father suffered. If I sometimes if I rewatch these her videos, if I if I go back to these videos, and I I start reminiscing how this man not be today, not be here the the suffering takes start. It was it wasn't that year twenty twenty one that he died that his suffering started. Yes, call me. Memory loss. Is it um, dressing like someone that, like a, like a one dress? Is it dressing like someone that is losing his mind? Things just started sinking day by day, slowly. And you knew. You knew because in one of your videos, you stated that... Um, well, you know when she wants to do something to you it takes like it takes time it takes years before before it starts manifesting those years those months that it was taking you could have chipped it in to him they go for prayer so man can man do this one do that one but you didn't you did nothing like I said earlier, this is medicine after death. I were at home one particular day, a particular evening. That was the second time he, he went missing. Before he went missing, this is my father. He, I don't know what he went to the bathroom, maybe to brush or to... Because he, he started spitting, like he, he started throwing up saliva, you understand? So before he left, he, he went to the bathroom to, you know, rinse his mouth and things like that. He was taking time. And his last, his last son, his last boy, were all here, but who noticed? The, his child, the last one. Daddy, what are you doing? Daddy, why, why are you wasting time now? What's happening? He didn't answer him. He, he couldn't speak. He couldn't talk. And my brother said, uh, I told you, come and check this. Come and check that. You, I don't understand what is happening to him. He's not saying anything. I went inside the bathroom. And I saw my dad. Um, you know, there, there are situations you find yourself in, eh? In your entire life. You've never been that scared. I was so scared. I was confused. I saw my, I saw my dad. He could not even look at me. He couldn't look at me. I was pleading with him. Daddy, look, please, please look at me. Daddy, please look at me. He was crying. He was crying. Crying. The, a man, man, where they cry. I was... I was begging. Daddy, please just look at me. Okay. Just try and look at me. I shouted the blood of Jesus. I... I I did what I believe I could do best at that moment. And then I, I called on my mom so that to come and see what is happening to him. Oh, and she, she rushed in. And the next thing she said was, this is stroke. Oh, 
This is this this is that. So she said a little. She said um. She she channeled the whole thing to be a stroke, and uh, she brought a bottle of oil. Yeah, she she brought a bottle of oil and said um. She put it on the cover and then gave it to me. She, she asked me to pour it in the mouth of my dad. Which I did, you know. I was scared, but I was doing it because you know, he's my dad. And I, I just saw him tearing up. I saw him crying. And I was like, what was really happening? And then I, I poured the oil in his mouth. And I held my father's face. And I I dropped down his head because I I had no idea what he was staring at up. I brought down his head and I I I just heard him cry this this cry of pain. This this cry of I am tired. I I, I don't let me just go. That was what And and you were there, and and you were there. You knew all these things all along. We could have, we could have found a solution. You know, we could have worked together. We could have tried as much as possible to prevent these things from happening. But you didn't say anything. And now it's gone, and you are out here saying. Someone tied him in a bottle and... <laughs> okay, uh... I think, uh... Like I said, uh, all these videos, I would not go back to these videos because it's it's really opening heal, healing wounds okay fine the least you could have done if uh, maybe you were too scared to confess or too scared to to do the right thing was to attend his own burial Wow, just wow. <laughs> when I remember how my dad started dressing like someone who was losing his mind. I will take care of him. I'll I'll have to come back from school very early. I don't even focus anymore in school. I remember having two Fs. I mean, like a result came out and I was having Fs, like two. I'll come home. I would um. I'll look for. You know, just local leaves. I would make him sit outside. I would help put the leaves under his feet. <laughs> you know. No, because I would because we were just fighting on sin battles. <laughs> we were fighting battles that we know nothing about. <laughs> I mean, the Harpalis gave us a clue that it was an actress. We met the wrong person. Only time I remember the kind so far with this man so far. My father suffered. I mean, people, people are really heartless. You know, people are 
just people out there don't care about you and I. They don't care about this man. If if not all the sickness that occurred to him then that period, this did not even come once. Like I said, if it was a one time thing, like you just go there, you die straight up. Not not waiting, not suffering like this, not going through hard times, not. The battles that we fought, the, you know, the most painful part, we kept fighting, we kept going places, we kept thinking far and near, thinking about so many different things. We just needed one clue, just one clue. As you say, if you had given us just one clue, just one. Maybe it would have been alive today. I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe it would have been a different issue. We would have been fighting a different story entirely. And the abalist told us, so the medicine man, when he told us that it was an actress, we we thought it was somebody else. Like I stated before, he met the woman, and the woman told him that um, no matter there are differences. I mean, it has not gotten to the level where she will have to be taking his name somewhere else. And then we forgot about that part. We just completely forgot about it. You know, thinking maybe the herbalist was bluffing or, you know, that, that might not be the problem. Not knowing that the man was right. I mean, if what she's stating is true, it's too late now. It's too late. There's no witchcraft in law. You're stating that she's a she's a murderer or that she has taken a lot of souls. You saw him in the spiritual realm inside Botsu and so many it's not only my father, but I'm out here because he's my dad. I'm out here because of that man. I'm, I'm showing my face to these people because of him. Because it's not like the any solution can be rendered. It's not like anything will change. But I'm just so... I'm so disappointed because... Just one clue would have saved this man's life. Just one clue. They are children in school. Now you left all the workload for his, uh, his, his wife. Do you know how many, do you know the burden that you have placed on my shoulders right now? very funny oh. this is what we see in nigeria this is how people die you know wasted lives people we know some kind of things but they will keep it to themselves what it means to at least lose someone from your family this man this man promised me a lot and you 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 and your best friend took everything. Yes, you took everything because now you're blaming her. You're an accomplice also because you knew you could have prevented it, but you did nothing. You did nothing. Instead, you're out here, you're ranting, you're talking about, um, I don't even know what you're saying. But it's, it's all good. At least thank you for coming out to confess now that he's dead. I truly appreciate your efforts. In the stillness of the night, we shadows roam. We gather here to get sober thorn. MJ Fun TV, bearer of the news. Brings tales of loss in the evening's blues. Morning hearts, heavy so in the depths of grief, we ebb and flow. MJ Fun TV, whispers of despair. In the silence of the night, we find solace there.
In the streets, in the homes, a quiet moment for those departed. To whom we're deeply bent, faces streaked with tears, hearts torn apart. And J Fun TV, there goes the ache in our hearts. Morning hearts, heavy and slow, in the depths of grief, we ebb and flow. And J Fun TV, lessons of despair, in the silence of the night. Morning hearts, heavy and slow, in the depths of grief, we have been flow. MJ Fun TV, whispers of despair, in the silence of the night, we find solace there. So let the tears fall, let the sadness flow, in MJ Fun TV's embrace, we find a gentle glow. Thank you so much for watching this video. For daily entertainment, news, and celebrity good and bad updates, and all you need to know that's happening in the country, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to always stay connected to us. One love and God bless you all. Don't forget to thumbs up to this video and comment down below what you think about this. <laughs>